Hello everyone. Hope you guys are ready with your sheets, instruments and isometric scale. Today we are going to learn how to draw isometric projection of a solid in given conditions. So let us begin with the problem. Draw the isometric projection of an equilateral triangular prism of 40 mm base side and 75 mm axis resting on its base in HP with one of its base edge parallel to VP in front. As you can see it's a triangular prism. Say the length of the base, base edge is 40 mm, 40, 40 and the excess length of generator is 75 mm long. Now in total 5 faces are there in this solid, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one is 4th and this is 5th. Out of which these two triangular faces are better known as the base, base of the solid, top base and bottom base. Now trying to fix it with reference to HP and VP, trying to fix its position with reference to HP and VP as per given constraints. Now the first constraint is resting on its base in HP. Now for the reference plane, just assume that this plane, plane of the board is showing vertical plane and the plane perpendicular to the board is showing horizontal plane. First constraint is resting on its base in HP. So the solid is resting on its base, on its triangular base, the triangular part is resting on HP, is contained by HP. Second is with one of its base edge parallel to VP. Now out of these three sides, one is parallel to VP. Say this one is parallel to VP. In front. In front means the side is in front of VP. So now this side is parallel to VP and the same is in front of VP. So this is the final position. Your solid is resting on its base on HP and edge of its base is parallel to VP and in front. In front means away from vertical plane or near to observer. So this is the final position. Moving to the construction part, please draw the set of isometric axes starting from the first line, the first line parallel to your uh, margin or parallel to the bottom base of your sheet, mark O, reference point or origin point, the first iso axis inclined at 30, second iso axis again inclined at 30 from the line and third iso axis perpendicular to the line. Now the question is from where to start, the given solid is resting on its base on HP. So the solid is resting on its base on HP. It means we need to draw the isometric projection starting from the base only, which is a triangle. And for projecting a triangle, for isometrically projecting a triangle, we need to have a helping figure of triangle. It may be noted that we are drawing isometric projection, isometric projection of the solid. It means all the dimensions are to be taken all the dimensions are to be taken by using isometric scale only. Let me show you. Here in the isometric scale, first line, first line is showing true length, second line is showing isometric length. So the given side is 40 mm. From 0 to 40 along true length, this line is showing true 40 and corresponding line, corresponding second line from 0 to 40 along iso length. This length is showing isometric of 40, simply iso 40. So this is to be taken, this is to be taken for the triangle. Now drawing triangle by taking iso 40 as the length. So the side here is equals to the iso 40. So I have a triangle like this for which the length length of the base or length of the triangle is equal to the iso 50. Now next is we need to enclose this triangle, enclose this triangle inside a box, inside a box by drawing lines parallel to the first base, parallel to the first base and perpendicular to the first base passing through the corners. Again, let us take this base as your first reference base. Draw lines parallel to the first base 
थ्रू कॉर्नर ऑफ द सॉलिड लाइक दिस ऑल्सो फॉर पेंडिकुलर टू द फर्स्ट बेस थ्रू कॉर्नर ऑफ द सॉरी और कॉर्नर ऑफ द ट्रैंगुलर बेस द साइड इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी बट हियर इट इज आईसो फोर्टी एंड हाइट ऑफ द बॉक्स हाइट ऑफ द हेल्पिंग बॉक्स is to be taken for further use let it be one let's say the corners are a b and c corners of the triangle are a b and c similarly corners of the helping box corners of the helping figure rectangle are a b d and c E. Now we locate the center, center of the triangle, by joining corners to the opposite midpoint, or simply by bisecting any two angles. So corner to opposite midpoint, or angle bisector. will give you the center center of the triangle so this is the center of the triangle so let me show you the height this is the height or the distance you can call it as y dash y dash so this is the center of this right now the next thing which we have to do is we need to project this rectangle along this plane for doing so let us take first point a first taking a along the origin here now taking a to be this side on length along first isoxes mark second point this b please make sure that first side ab is along first iso axis and second side of the box ae is along second iso axis so this point is say e now please draw lines parallel to the iso axis first and second parallel to the first iso axis and then parallel to the second iso axis starting from these points e and b like this so the first line is first line which are on a drawing is parallel to the first iso axis from e to the second line is parallel to the second iso axis starting from b and hence get point B. Now for point C, it's your choice. Take E to C like this and mark it, or from D to C, take it like this and mark the same point along the side. So now we have all three points, all three points of the triangle on the base plane. A to B, B to C, and C to A. A to B, B to C. Join it and C to it. So this is the projection, projection, isometric projection of the base triangle or base which is resting on HP. Now we will draw the center of the triangle by taking y dash, by taking y dash along E A and D B, y dash along E A and along D B. These are my points. and draw another line from c which is parallel to db common intersection point will be the 
center so from c to this point parallel to dv so from c parallel to dv we draw a line like this and from these two points so this is the center now Now for solid generation, we'll draw lines from all these corner points parallel to the third ISO axis. From A, from B, from C, and from D, parallel to third ISO axis. So, drawing lines parallel to third ISO axis. All these lines are parallel to third ISO axis. Again, we have to take isometric length corresponding to 75 because the height given or axis given is 75. So we have to take isometric length of 75, which is to be taken from this line 0 to 70 along ISO line and 0 to 5 again. So in total from 5 to 70. This length is showing this length is representing ISO 75, which is equal to the length of this scale in my case. So, marking all corner points from B equals to the length of scale, in my case only, from B again and from E. So all these points are now corner points of the helping figure. So I need them. center no before center we have to mark point c a point third corner similar to c again taking this distance e to c or you can take it like d to c so this will be the third corner and then the center again for center this is the distance mark it Mark it and align parallel to the perpendicular side from the third corner. Just so this is the same. Now for all visible outlines, we we'll draw dark, thick, continuous lines. And all these lines are visible outlines of this solid. Top base, three corners of the top base. Corner two. Corner from top base to bottom base. And this is last line. And from corner to corner last case, corner to top. Right. And then we'll mark centers. We will draw a center line. We 
these are Similarly, we'll draw center lines for bottom base. solid axis joining centers of the base planes all these lines are central lines or you can say these are thin chain lines right the next is dimensioning for dimensioning the extensions of extension lines or simply you can say extend we will extend our we will extend our iso axis and for dimensioning line again draw lines parallel to iso axis so these two extension lines are extensions of the second iso axis and dimensioning line here is parallel to the first iso axis similarly extend extensions of your uh, chain lines for dimensioning of the axis and draw line parallel to third axis or parallel to the vertical iso axis for vertical dimensioning and write the related number for side it is 40 and height is your 75 and dimensioning for dimensioning again it's better to draw a line which is along iso axis and preferably from the direction of observation now if you have any confusion regarding the pencil selection then please use color code here i have used white color for h pencil medium yellow color for dark pencil preferably HB and 2H for 2H and used pink color now this is it from my side this is over from my side now please take care for dimensioning arrow and please show the solid axis planar axis and if you wish you can write uh, the name of this figure helping figure so this is all from my side thank you